Now, Jason, the family of lead beam fixtures has evolved, and this is the latest, the lead beam 1000. Mm, and may I add also fastest. This thing really shifts. It really does have very fast head movement, considering the size of its head. Mm. Uh, I can't turn my own head that fast, and it's not <laughs> even as big. Um, <laughs> That's not saying that the Lead Beam 1000 doesn't have every right to be full of itself mm. because it's also very bright. It is very, very bright. 16,000 lumens. Yeah, uh, it achieves this with uh, 37 mm -hmm. 15 watt RGBW engines. And as you can see here, maybe, maybe not, maybe it's too bright for the video, but they're mm. arranged in concentric rings. So we got three separate zones. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing that they've done and they've carried this over from the other fixtures in the lead beam ranges. We've got this virtual color wheel, mm. which gives us everything from I think 27 or 2800 Kelvin up to about 8000. And you can call up uh, at the exact color temperature yep. based on sending a specific DMX value down mm. a specific channel. So if you've got 10 of these mm. and you send the same value, they're all gonna look exactly the same. Mm. Now within those uh, lower color temperature ranges, uh, the 28 and the 3200, uh, we've got a facility to emulate tungsten dimming. Yeah, and this is a bit of a big deal because a lot of LDs are still, you know, a bit funny about the whole, you know, lead source and they want it to act like tungsten. Mm. So basically what's going on when you, when you uh, activate that mode? Well, there's two different modes of dimming. There's tungsten slash halogen or linear. And if you're in linear mode and you hit blackout on your console, this will go straight to black. Yeah. If you are in the tungsten dimming mode, mm. what will happen is it will sort of do that tapered fade yeah. out. So mm. it really does look very much more like a tungsten fixture in the way it dims when it's in that mode. Mm. But if you shift it to a cold color temperature and put it in linear dim mode, then you can strobe. You've obviously got color mixing. Got a massive zoom range on this thing as well. Yeah. Four yeah. to 63, 63 degrees. degrees. Mm. Uh, look, as you'd expect from Roby, of course, both three and five pin DMX, mm. as well as ethernet connection options, yep. PowerCon in, uh, Roby navigation system two, the touch screen, as well as the adjacent buttons. Mm. Look, um, I think this is, this is absolutely the next logical step in the, in the evolution. I think, you know, there's only so much you can do mm. with uh, a moving head LED wash light. And um, really, you know, we're, we're at the point where it is sort of what's gonna be bright. And this is definitely bright. It certainly is, Jimmy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us down there on the thumbs up button and share us with your friends. Cheers.